in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add additional shapes on top of the shapes that you've already drawn. So it's very, very simple and all the steps to do it um, you've already done before, which is wonderful. So in order to do this, just like drawing a shape from nothing, you have to start with your vertical line. You have to start with the vertical line and it doesn't matter where you put it. So I want to put a box um, on top of this box and I'm going to put it on the left side. So I'm going to start with my vertical line which is going to be the furthest out edge just like this one. So wherever I put it, um, fuck this, let's start over. Okay, welcome. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add an additional shape on top um, of an existing shape that we've already made. And this is very, very simple to do because all the steps to do it, we've already done before. So in order to get started, I have to do exactly what I did when drawing just a standard shape, and that is start with the vertical line. So it doesn't really matter where you put it. So for this example, I have my shape drawn. Um, if you don't know how to draw this shape, you can check out the video from the previous day. And I'm going to put a box sitting on top of this box. So. In the middle of this line right here, I'm going to go ahead and draw a vertical line. And I'm not going to make it too tall. Now, just like with this line, I have to take the top and connect both lines to my vanishing points. So there's one. And there's two. Now, what's fun about this is I don't need to take the bottom to both vanishing points because A, on this side, it's already going towards it. And unless I want my shape to hang off the edge a little bit, which I don't, I don't need to draw it this way. And on this side, I don't need to draw it because it's actually behind this piece right here. So all I need to do now is define my edges so, um, I want this piece to line up with this piece, so I'm just going to extend this line up. So I'll line up my ruler, draw that line up, see that right there? Um, and on this side, um, let's make it, I can make it really wherever I want. So let's just put it, let's make it real small and just kind of over on this side. And we'll just draw a vertical line where we want. Then, I can erase my extra lines that I don't need anymore. And voila, I have an additional shape drawn in correct two-point perspective. So um, here's a few more different ways you could do this. Add a shape on this side. I can stack shapes to make them look kind of like a skyscraper or maybe a really geometric birthday cake. I can also make shapes that extend and overhang a little bit. Now, in order to make this look correct though, I need to take this point and connect it with that vanishing point right there. So 
now it looks like it's actually sitting on top of the shape. So have at it, have fun with it. Um, you can, there's really unlimited potential and amount of possibilities that you can do with this technique.